What is up guys, Drones here, and if you've lost the weave recently, I really suggest taking a look at the polls on C-Town, because as you can see from that title screen, there is a weave up there. So, you know, maybe if you've lost the weave in the past couple of months, or you know someone that's lost the weave in the past couple of months, and I suggest you tell them about it, because I know how devastating it can be to lose your special weave, the one that makes you look extra special and fancy on those special occasions. So, it's a good thing if you just be a friend. Maybe it's not your weave, maybe you don't need it, but maybe you do know a friend that's lost one recently, and you can be a good friend by going up to them one day and be like, hey, so I was playing Modern Warfare 3 the other day, and I saw this weave on a pole, and I thought it looked somewhat like the one you lost a while ago. So you can be nice like that, and maybe, maybe, if it is their weave, they can be extra nice to you and give you some sort of reward, you know? Maybe they can give you a fish, or maybe a couple of coupons for buying your own fish, or maybe, if you're really lucky, they can give you the whole weave. I mean, how great would that be if they all of a sudden be like, hey, I found my weave, I am so grateful, I'm gonna give it to you. That'd be great, I think that'd be great. So anyway guys, I am playing Kill Confirmed on C-Town. And I'm using the Dragonov. You might be thinking, why would anyone use the Dragonov? I don't really know. I can't answer that question. But the reason I am using the Dragonov this game is because I was going for a gameplay. A specific gameplay where I tried to get a Juggernaut with every gun. And this is, you know, this just so happened to be the gameplay where I used the Dragonov. And I thought, you know, I might as well upload this. This never been uploaded before. And it's something you don't really see every day unless you... You know, you specifically search for Dragonov gameplays every single day. But I don't think anyone does that. So this is something you don't really see every day. And I thought it might be interesting for you guys to watch. Also, it's a Juggernaut gameplay, so that's, you know, double interesting. Or I guess you could call it, like, triple interesting. Because the Juggernaut is pretty big. I mean, it moves really slow, and it's like a big, gigantic, fluffy pillow that everyone likes to run around in. So yeah, that's that, and I don't know, what was I going to say today? Uh, I was going to talk about what happened at school, I remember, yeah. So, Monday and Tuesday were some pretty interesting days in school so far, this week, and I think it's just going to go downhill from there, but, you know, Monday and Tuesday, first of all, Monday, I go to school like every other day, and I'm like, okay, we're going to have, we're going to have a meeting in the auditorium, I mean, that doesn't happen every day, but you know, just... It's something that usually happens every once in a while. So I was like, hey, we're going to have a medium meeting in the auditorium and everyone's going to be there. Well, not everyone, just people that have music classes. And it turns out that that specific day, we were being presented with a $10,000 check. And you've all seen those gigantic checks that they give out with gigantic amounts of money. Yep, we got one of those for our school. So I was like, hey, look, a gigantic check. But then out comes this lady. That I didn't really know who she was. Um, her name's... I don't know if you know her. You probably know her. I mean, maybe you've heard that song that's called Love Song. And it's about a song that you don't really write a love song. It's like, I'm not going to write you a love song. Because because I I rather write a song about not writing you a song. It really doesn't make sense to me. But that lady that wrote that, apparently she's like a Grammy winner or a Grammy nominee, one of those two, she ended up coming to our school and I was like, hey. Well, I wasn't really like, hey, because I was like in the back of the auditorium and she probably doesn't even know who I am. But I saw her and she was like, whoa. Not really whoa, but you know you know what I mean. I was like, whoa, a famous person in my school giving us a $10,000 check. That's pretty fancy. Now, I thought it couldn't go up from there, but the next day we had another event in the auditorium. And I was like, okay, this is going to be boring. Everyone else is testing, and the juniors, or most of the juniors, and the seniors are going to be in the auditorium spending an hour and a half. So I was like, oh, this isn't going to be fun. This is going to be boring. I forgot to bring my headphones. And good thing I didn't bring my headphones, because that day, we watched a movie. I don't know if you guys seen this movie. It's a pretty random movie, but I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It was one of the best movies I've seen this week, which isn't saying much because I've only seen that movie this week so I guess it was a pretty good movie anyway it's called Bill and Ted Bill and Ted's excellent adventure and I gotta say that was most excellent if you know what I mean so anyway that's what happened these past 
two days or three days i guess you could call it throughout this whole week i want to know if anything interesting has happened at your school this week or maybe something interesting in the past you know however long you've been in school maybe you've been in school for a year maybe you're in kindergarten maybe in your first grade or something like that i want to know the most interesting ha things that have happened at your school even if it's just like a random fight that occurred and like the rooftop of one of the buildings i don't know anything really just leave it down in the comments below it seems like something really interesting and i want to know what you guys think about meeting famous people at school even though i didn't even get to meet her that would have been nice you know oh also that monday when she came i was like oh look they have a piano and the microphone she's gonna sing i was all excited because you know we we're gonna have a famous person sing at our school and i was like oh god she's gonna sing and i was like yes yes she's gonna sing but i was severely disappointed because it just ended up being some students singing like all in a clustered mess in front of the auditorium right in front of the lady and they were singing her song and i was like you know you know what this is a big disappointment i was expecting her to sing i mean why else would there be a piano and a microphone standing in the middle of a stage on the front of an auditorium if no one's really gonna use it i thought that was a waste and a big disappointment so anyway that's that that's what's happened recently and i thought it was pretty interesting so i thought i'd share it with you guys because apparently people like listening to interesting things who would have guessed i mean i i always thought they liked interesting things such as you know theory of relativity where you just tell everyone the equation and how apples fall on people's head even though those things have nothing to do with the theory of relativity although i don't really know so anyway that's the end of the gameplay and i'd like to thank you guys for watching thanks for all the support make sure to leave a comment about anything i talked about and make sure to maybe leave a like maybe if you want and if you enjoyed this commentary subscribe if you haven't already there's some links right here, and I'm out. Peace. Why did I say peace? I never say peace. Bye.